everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we made it here to the Gold Saucer, where we met a talking cat named Ketchy. This time, we're gonna make our way to progress by going to the Battle Square. Because something has definitely changed here. For one thing, there's a Shinra troop in front of there now. And, um... Hmm... Dead. What? Why? Cloud, where are you going? Something seems a little fishy here. Ooh. Everybody here is dead. Jesus. Did Sephiroth do this? No. It's not him. They're all shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. Well, it's like this person at the counter is alive, thankfully. Hey, what happened? A man with a gun on his arm. It can't be. Hold it right there and stay quiet. Oh no, it's Dio! <laughs> Did you guys do this? No, it wasn't us. I must have been wrong. Hurry and run, it's gonna get ugly! Hey! Stop them! Well, isn't this great? We're being framed. Or as I like to say, the golden frame! As far as you go. Wait, listen to Cloud. Oh god. Hi. Oh Jesus. Um One more to go. Hey, pay attention. I don't need to hear it. Pay for your crime below. Do it. Who knew the gold saucer had this? Jesus Christ. You alright? Where are we? A desert prison. Corral prison. A desert prison? Yep, a natural prison in the middle of the desert, surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you get in, you never get out. But there was one special exception. Hey, Barrett. Barrett. Did you... Stay back. This is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Whew, that's one of your friends. He sure looks dangerous. Cloud, what should we do? Barrett's not his normal self. Check this guy. Cause... This one's been shot, too. Well, I guess they already got the person responding. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, for any random encounter that you might run into here... Okay, these guys aren't one of them. I, um, I should also set everything people up in materia. I guess we can... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> I done screwed up horribly. One damage, okay. I guess we can try the manipulate materia. If it'd work. Please work. No. I swear. No, 
not. Okay, let's die. So yeah, we get to test out Kate. Uh, Kate says, "Oh my God, catchy here." Um, the way that um I like to use uh, catchy is more of a tank. Self destruct. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. Yep, yeah, I'm glad we got a limit for that. Um, Ketchy is more of a tank type character that I typically talk, um, tend to outfit him as. I mean, you can outfit him as, like, just about anything you want him to be, but... I typically like to have, um... But I tend to have, um, Ketchy set as a tank. But feel free to put him as, um, as what you want. Um, I'm gonna give Cloud this enemy skill over here. I also wanna give him a restore material. Restore all to be more precise. I mean, God, we have four of these things now. Jesus Christ. Okay, I gave Cloud, I gave Cloud revive. I don't want Cloud to get that other one. Aerith, I want to have... Lighting with a lot of life, so let's go with that. Um, the all materia, another restore all. That'd be very useful to have. And as for the others, I think I'll give Aerith this other enemy skill. Actually, no, I kind of want to give it to. Um, I kind of want to give that one to um, Ketchy, because Ketchy is a tank type character. So, as for what to give Ketchy, I think I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give you poison elemental. That should work nicely. Um, it's also gonna end heal up Cloud because you took a load of damage. No damage to Ketchy, so we should be fine. Now you got this guy, um, walking up on you right here. You can use save points and whatnot, but this place does have random encounters, but. It's very... The encounters here are very nasty. In the sense that they can just take random... They can just take random junk from you. So, you kind of don't want that to happen. But anyway, plot lies inside this house. So let's go on in here. Didn't I tell you not to come here? Hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You'll understand if you just hear us out. And he's dead. Didn't want none of you to get involved. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're already involved in this. We saw you and hurried here. So come on, Barrett. Just tell us what's going on. You guys. I heard that the murders of the battle arena were done by a man with a gun on. Was that you? There's another. Another man. That got a gun grafted into one of his arms. It was four years ago. I remember, I was on my way home from visiting the Maka reactor being built. Barrett, Dine, come quick. The village is being attacked. It's Shinra soldiers. What? Happened. 
Hey, Barrett. It's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back to the village. Barrett, dying. Protect the village. And, well, he's dead. <laughs> Old man. Great! Come on, Barrett. We gotta hurry. Barrett, you stay here. Stop playing around and cover me. Watch out. Darren, hang on. Listen to me. Coming back to the village. Here? Yeah, I ain't letting go. We're coming back. Everyone's waiting for you. Eleanor. And Marlene. They're, they are they all waiting on us. Also, Scarlet's not even shooting anything. Well From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm to get revenge on the Shinra, who took everything away. Back then, I heard the doc say there was another man who had the same operation as me. But his was the left arm. But Dine's injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by the Shinra too. He'll probably join us to fight against the Shinra. Wouldn't bet on it. I gotta apologize to Dine before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it. We need your help to save the planet. Barrett, this isn't the end. Weren't you going to save the planet? Tifa, you ought to know by now. That's alright. I'm not so different from you. That's easier to understand. It's you, Barrett. So there it is, Barrett. That, oh wait, that's Claude's voice. <laughs> so yeah, Barrett's now forced to come with us, and I kind of want to bring uh, Ketchy with us, just because he's still new. So, we're going to go ahead and exchange um, all of Aerith's materia, now that Barrett's in our party. 